What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vazer here with Practical Painting, and in this video, I'll be going over Light Reflectance Value, or LRV for short. Chances are, if you are searching this term, then you are in the middle of picking out some paint colors, and I know that can be a somewhat trying and difficult experience for many folks, so I will do my very best to be thorough and concise, and hopefully you will find this video helpful in your paint picking process. So what is LRV? It stands for light reflectance value or light reflective value. I've seen them used interchangeably and they mean the exact same thing. A color's LRV is a measurement of the percentage of light that a paint color reflects. It's expressed as a value between zero and 100 because it's a percentage. So if a paint color has an LRV of 60, you can also say that it has an LRV of 60%. Uh, which means it reflects 60% of the light uh, that hits it. Now the inverse is also true. So that same paint color that has an LRV of 60, it reflects 60% of the light that hits it, it also absorbs 40% of the light that hits it. So that's kind of how that works. I know I just said a bunch of words just now, but all LRV is is a number between 0 and 100 that illustrates how light or dark a color is. That's it. That's, that's all that is. All right, so here is the LRV scale. As I said before, it goes from 0 to 100. 0 is absolute black, and 100 is pure white, like an absolute pure reflective white, which you're never going to see a paint color that has an LRV of 0 or 100. Those are just the extreme ends of the scale. When you're looking at colors and their LRV, 0 to 40 is considered dark tones, 40 to 60 are considered mid-tones, and then 60 and up are considered light tones. So uh, I'll kind of come back to that when I get into the practical application of this, but that's kind of generally accepted. You could argue like five points either way in some of those categories, but generally that's kind of what's accepted as uh, your dark tones, your mid-tones, and your light tones. There are three common places to find out a color's LRV. One is a, the actual paint swatch from a color wall. If you go to any paint store, whether it's Home Depot, Lowe's, Sherwin-Williams, Benjamin Moore, there's usually a big wall full of paint swatches. If you pull one of those little cards out, on the front usually the color code is listed, the name of the paint, and then if you flip it over, a lot of times the LRV is listed on the back. Sometimes it's listed on the front. Uh, this one is from Sherwin-Williams, and uh, this color is called Open Seas. The color code is 6500, and then on the back it says Light Reflective Value, and that is 39 for this one. So uh, that is the first place to find out a color's LRV. Super easy to find. The second spot to find out a color's LRV is inside of a, ma a paint manufacturer's fan deck. Uh, this one happens to be from Sherwin-Williams. I have a bunch of other ones here as well. Uh, one caveat real quick on fan decks. These are actually really convenient to have even if you're not a professional. Uh, I'm a painter, so I have a bunch of these, but uh, if you're a homeowner, they're really nice to have, particularly if you're picking out lots of colors. And you'll notice uh, when you're looking through, a lot of times the colors are arranged the same way I arranged the LRV scale. Uh, so the darker colors with lower LRVs are at the bottom, and then they get lighter as they come up the, uh, the page here. So uh, in Sherwin-Williams fan deck, what's really nice is if you look at any of these colors, if you look on the back of the page, it actually has the LRV listed on the back which is really nice. Not all fan decks are, are structured like this. I have one from Benjamin Moore where you have to go back in the index uh, in the back of the fan deck and look that up. Um, you can do that in Sherwin-Williams as well. Uh, so if you look at the index back here, it has each of the colors listed alphabetically. Next to it is then the, uh, the page number and then the LRV. So different companies lay their fan decks out differently, but if you can't find the LRV on the actual uh, page or on the back of it, then just go to the index and it's almost always listed there. The third and final place that I'm aware of to find a uh, color's LRV is on the paint manufacturer's website. So if you go to SherwinWilliams.com uh, or BenjaminMoore.com, you can find any of their colors. And then in the details of the color, uh, you can find it'll have it, the LRV listed. All right, so I've been chatting for a while about LRV and talking about light tones and mid tones and dark tones and, and all that stuff, but I wanted to give you guys a uh, kind of a clear illustration of what that looks like in a, in a real world scenario. Um, so I create a little illustration in my studio. Behind me, 
uh, is my backdrop, and the one you're looking at right now is actually gray, uh, but I have two production lights shining on it. Uh, one has a fuchsia gel on it, and the other one has a blue uh, gel on it, as you, can, as you can tell. But I actually have three different backdrops that I can unroll behind me. One is white, one's black, and one's gray. So what I did is I locked off my camera so the settings are all the same, and then I had the lights shining uh, the exact same way for all three of the backgrounds and then I filmed each one individually. So I'm going to show you what the white backdrop looks like first. So that's what it looks like and it has an LRV of 93. So you can really see how much that light is bouncing off that backdrop. You can see the like white blown out areas of where it's kind of getting washed out. Uh, but 93 is a very high LRV, so uh, most of that light is bouncing back at us, so you can really tell. Number two is the gray backdrop, which has an LRV of 53. And you can see that, you know, you can still tell the light is hitting it, but a lot of it's getting absorbed. A decent amount is getting bounced back, but you're not seeing any of those white blown out areas the same way that you did with the white backdrop. And third is the black background, which has an LRV of 4 and you can really tell how much light is really is getting absorbed uh, into that black backdrop. And uh, so, and then if you compare all three of these together on screen, you can just tell the difference between uh, those, those three LRVs. I know this is a controlled studio setting, but I thought it was a good way to illustrate of the difference that LRVs can make. All right, so one last thing I wanted to touch on before I wrap this video up is when you're picking colors for your house, it's a good idea to take an accurate assessment of how much light you have to work with. Light is kind of like currency when it comes to picking paint colors. The more you have of it, whether it's artificial or natural, the more you can afford a wider range of colors. Um, so if you have a, a room that's got, you know, a ton of big windows, uh, it's got a lot of, you know, artificial light too, so you might have some hi-hat lighting and all different kinds of like chandeliers, things like that, then you can afford to go with a really dark color on the walls and the room won't close in. Uh, now, on the inverse side of that, if you have a really dark room, then no matter what color you put on the walls, it could have the highest LRV possible. Uh, it's it's not going to, the room will still feel dark. So you just have to be realistic about how much you can do with paint. And a lot of times your your troubles with a dark room might not come from the paint on the walls. It might actually come from the amount of light you have available to you in that room. So that's just something to consider. And in general, if I have a client that is oscillating on a light color or dark color, I generally steer them towards the lighter color that tends to go over a little bit better so uh, that's just my two cents coming from a humble painter again i'm not an interior designer but that has just been my experience with this process so i hope you all found that helpful and i wish you all the best in your color picking endeavors i'm making new content like this all of the time so if this is the kind of thing that you're into hit that like and subscribe button i would super appreciate it and until next time y'all take it easy work smart and have a good one Peace. of a labor what I have I built with my own hands Amazing!